All right, folks, uh, Dr. Evil Genius here with Captain Paul uh, with some breaking uh -huh. news. Um, mm -hmm. Life comes at you fast, man, doesn't it? It comes at you extremely fast. And, uh, you know, you never know when you go to the hospital what can happen. Remember, no Russian. You don't really know when uh, you're going to hit the ground No. when you go never, to the hospital. Man. Yeah, you never know when you're going to finally hit that, you know, ceiling or that brick wall. It's just... I mean, let's get into it, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is rough, man. You know, shout out to Putin. You're a savage. All right. So, a... <laughs> <laughs> head of Russian oil giant that criticized Ukraine war dies after reportedly falling from hospital window. All right. So first off, I have to say, how the fuck do you fall from a hospital window without really trying to? Right. Well, well, well. In 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 Russia, they don't have like gurneys with like the guards on the sides of the the hospital beds. It's just like a. It's like a wooden pallet that they just put you on. Oh, and so word. if you have like a really bad dream, like you'll like roll off the bed, but they put the bed right up against the open window. Yo, and so it, when you must... have the bad dream and you roll off the bed, you roll right out the window. Bro, it must be like those Wiley e. Uh, Wiley e. Coyote cartoons where the Acme made the beds because it just springs the guys out the fucking window. It's <laughs> me, me. <laughs> Oil and gas company Luke Oil issued a statement early Thursday confirming the death of Bravil Maganoff, 67, after a severe illness. That is a pretty severe fall. Yeah, especially uh, when you're trying to make America great again. But, but did not specify the. <laughs> this motherfucker's name is Maganoff. No, no, look, look at his name. You are fake news, sir. Go ahead. Can you stay head of a. Russian this got to be fake, right? This got to be a fake story. Uh, no, nah, man, it's real. It's on NBC. Uh, <laughs> a head of a Russian oil giant. Well, Brian Williams, has... if he said he was there, I don't know. I mean, you gotta take that with a, with a grain of salt. I was there on the ground waiting for his corpse. Uh, <laughs> by criticized President Vladimir Putin wars to Ukraine died Thursday after reportedly falling out of his out of his hospital window. Luke Oil Chairman uh, Ravel Maganov died from falling from a window uh, of the Central Clinical Hospital in Moscow. Reuters reported, citing two sources familiar with the situation. So yeah, the two guys that shoved him out the window. <laughs> a, severe, a severe, a severe illness. What? Like that's not a severe that you. That is a severe with. illness. Oh my god, that is a severe. It's fall. an acute. It's an acute illness. The uh, the company <laughs> sudden onset. Earlier, earlier Thursday, confirming the death of Maganov, 67, after a severe illness, but did not specify the cause. Well, we know now. Uh, Ravel Maganov immensely contributed to the development of not only the company, but of the entire Russian oil and gas sector, the statement read. NBC has not verified how he died. The hospital declined to comment uh, and referred comment to the police who declined to comment. Uh, Luke Oil is Russia's second largest oil producer. It was a rare Russian business to come out against Putin's war in Ukraine, which the Kremlin Kremlin insist on calling its special military operation. Uh, the company's board of directors called for an end to the war in early March, within days of the full-scale invasion of Russia's neighbors. Um, this is what... Wait, wait, wait. Uh, it, it said calling for the soonest termination of the armed conflict. That was the, soon, the soonest termination of this man's life. Oh, you know, it's fucking wild. And calling, uh, as a statement for the board of directors read, calling for the soonest termination of the armed conflict, we express our sincere empathy for all the victims who are affected by this tragedy. The Central Clinical Hospital in Moscow frequently treats Russians, political and business elites, and was where the final Soviet leader, uh, Mikhail Gorbachev, passed away earlier this week. Yo, Maganov they're clearing the hospital, son! Yo, Maganov, had, yeah, Putin is for sure. Maganov had served uh, on Luke Oil's board director since 2020 and served as the company's first executive vice president since 1994. His death raised eyebrows given the company's opposition to the war in similar unexpected deaths in recent years. Alexander Subotin, Subotin, a former Luke Oil manager, was found dead in his basement outside Moscow in May, according to Reuters, citing local media. In November 2021, a Russian diplomat was found dead on the streets of Berlin after falling from an upper floor of the embassy, the German outlet Der Spliegen reported, citing security sources. Investigative journalist Maxime Broden, who 
who wrote stories about the corrupt officials in the Russian military, died in 2018 after falling from his fifth store balcony. You're not no even creative. Russian yeah, stay yeah, fallen. Yo, yo, this is not creative. Cause I'm right. free. Yo, dude, that free is... falling. Yo, my thing is this, right? It is kind of weird. Every single person that comes against Russia just honestly loses their balance against the ledge every time, dog. Like, and and we're talking about like facilities for like the the powerful and the rich. Yeah. I and mean, I mean, they, they just kind of kind of proves the point that um, in Russia, you know, <laughs> you can't really speak out about certain things. That and that's that's the kind of the biggest thing that um, I don't think people understood when it came to certain athletes here in the states that were from Russia that try to speak out about like they oh speak out speak out. I'm like, bruh. Like, yo, they throw people out windows over there. Oh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, Ovechkin, your mother just mysteriously fell off the 10th floor balcony uh, of the, you know, of the hospital. It's like, it's just wild. It's absolutely I, I, I just want to, I just want to come out and say this right now. If you heard that I fell out the window of my apartment, let me tell you something. The windows in my apartment, there's no way you can fall out of them. You have to be forced through them. If you heard that I went through the window where I live, you know the Russians got me. I mean, and just listen, saying. If you, if you hear that I fell out a window and like fell from my second floor apartment, well, first off, <laughs> that's just gonna break the other hip. You was um, already and, dead and, before yeah. you went through the window, yeah, son. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he mysteriously died uh, from the fall, but we found a bullet in the back of his head. So uh, we kind of yeah. So if uh, either of us get you know disappeared into the ether it, it's definitely for uh russian i mean these motherfuckers didn't even disappear they left the motherfucking bodies on the ground for for people to find the the, cra the crazy thing is to me in this situation is that like um russia doesn't have any di diversity when it comes to killing people right like they don't like like you know not poison not this like with these main cases like get found oh yeah, yeah he, he just said he had enough of life that day and just fell off the balcony like you know come on no, uh, Nav navalny they they hit him with the novichok that's true i mean uh points for effort there he's probably he's already done. dead they said that they sent them to a prison because he committed some crime which i'm pretty sure he did not commit um he's probably already dead <laughs> yeah, absolutely absolutely he's probably dead there's no reason why any type of opposition but the thing is this is this is what putin's game plan always has been if you look into his history people that rise up against him or have even his political opponents they mysteriously drop out of the race or die like there's no in-betweens right they, they just either oh yeah you know what eh, that putin guy he's such a good candidate i'm just gonna drop out or you know they mysteriously fall from the 20th floor hey, the hey, hey, when you say drop out you have to be very specific about what you mean because we're talking about russia here yeah it's, it's true so like yo um i mean it is kind of sad in a way that uh it, it, it makes me i think it makes it does definitely doesn't make me take for granted what we have here in the united states even though we have some division and all that shit. but like i don't have to worry about mysteriously getting pushed out of a the fucking window I mean, after we after this video uh we, we probably have to worry about that now you guys in the comment section <laughs> please tell us what you think do you think that this guy died after a long illness or did he die after a, a long fall uh mm -hmm. what do you make of these uh mysterious uh deaths for these these guys who are in these high lofty places where you know the best security the best safety the best luxury but they're uh finding their ways uh hitting the pavement uh and, and just just the worst possible way you guys tell us what you think about this stuff in the comments mm. uh for captain paul i'm dr evil tsp signing off <laughs> catch you in the next one well nobody was there to catch him so <laughs> oh. oh, you got to leave that in there. Oh, shit. You got to leave that in there. <laughs>